Hello and welcome to this second week of Advent, this Tuesday of the second week of Advent. Wow, it's amazing how beautiful this season is. And let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, You will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. In his kingdom, there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we have an interesting gospel, especially in light of the feast day we're celebrating today. Today is the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and I want to connect this gospel reading also to the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And I want to focus on this last line, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your will. Essentially right there, she's saying, yes, as, as crazy as this all might sound, that the angel is standing before her saying that she's going to conceive a baby, all this kind of stuff. She's saying, yes, I will do your will. And I've often reflected on that and said, do I say yes when God comes to me and as Mary does? And then I kind of put Mary up on this pedestal and it's like, well, that is Mary, but this is not me. I'm very different than Mary. I wasn't immaculately conceived. And so she said yes, and she changed the world. Bring us into our feast day today, Our Lady of Guadalupe. And I want to focus on St. Juan Juan Diego. St. Juan Diego, poor gentleman, not very well educated. But Mary appeared to him and made a request of him to go to the bishop and to create this, this change that made a change for the entire Mexican country, the entire country of Mexico. And in a matter of a couple years, millions of people converted to Catholicism. What the different uh, conquistadors and different missionaries who came over tried to do for years and years, this one man, by saying yes, changed the whole history of Mexico. And so today, the question for us really is, What is God asking of me? Even as absurd as it may sound, as little as it sounds or big as it sounds, what is he asking of me? And am I prepared to say yes? Yes to God and to do his will. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.